Nigeria is a country with a determination and an eagerness to build for the future. Modern methods and machinery to help reach this end are brought in from all parts of the world, particularly from Europe and the United Kingdom. Lagos, the federal capital, is built largely on an island three miles long by one mile wide. There has been a town here since the slave traders came in the 17th century. It is now the main port and commercial center of the country. A.G. Leventis, one of the large trading companies who have a thriving business in West Africa, incorporate a tractor division. The machines are sent out, already assembled, and are not only for agricultural use. This one, in use at Akeja Airport, a few miles outside Lagos, has been working now for 20 years and is still going strong. If you fly from Lagos to Accra, the capital of Ghana, you fly over Tema, a completely new harbor. There was nothing here at all in 1954. Now, it is Ghana's largest port. All the heavy haulage is done by tractor and trailer, the most convenient way to ensure a quick turnaround. From this ship, they are unloading cement. It's in the usual 100 weight bags, and each tractor is pulling a load of 16 tons. One of the busiest roads in Accra is Kwame Nkrumah Avenue, and here the Motors Division of the Ghana National Trading Corporation has its showrooms and workshops. But although West Africa is rapidly becoming industrialized, large areas in the south will always be bush. 80% of the population lives from farming, and crops such as groundnuts, cocoa, palm oil and cotton account for 90% of the country's income from abroad. The farms have to be hacked out of the bush. Without machinery, it is a long and arduous business of burning, clearing, and digging, with the only implements in general use, a matchet and a hoe. 